Hi everyone, I'm DC and in this video I'm going to show you how you can create this 3D effect uh, using an image, a mesh and a simple rig. So, let's start uh, with the mesh. The first thing I'm going to do is select the image and add a mesh. So, you can see here this simple mesh, these edges, these vertex and these two areas. But what we want is draw a new mesh according to this volume. For that, I'm going to use the option New Contour. And I'm going to start drawing the mesh uh, using uh, the different corners of this cube as a reference. And close the mesh. Now, you can see that this part of the image is outside to the mesh. To fix this, the only thing you need to do is, with the pen tool selected, move the vertex to cover the image. Okay, now for the interior, instead to create the vertex here in this position, what we're going to do is create a four edge from here, and now create the new vertex. And do the same for these two borders. And the reason to do this way is because if in any moment I want to add a new vertex in one of these areas, the new mesh doesn't affect the rest of the areas. Now that we have the mesh ready, let's start with the rig. I'm going to create a bone here in this position because it's the front part of the cube. And now duplicating this, I'm going to use for the back here. Now, this first bone, I'm going to group it and using Y, move the group here in this position and change the style of the group as a target. This way, I can use this as a control. Now, to bind this mesh to the bones, what we need to do is select the image, hit Enter, and now you can add the different bones and hit enter. You can see the bones here and using shift B we can see the influence for each vertex. So now what we're going to do is select these two vertex and change the influence to 100 for the yellow bone because this part is the front part of the cube. And for these uh, four vertex because they are in 3D space between the yellow bone and the blue bone, I'm going to change to 50. Now, if we want to check this, move the control and you can see how the cube moves and change the perspective. To improve this rig, what I'm going to do is select this bone, group it, move the group to the same position of the control here, and now add a constraint, a translation constraint, using the value negative 100 for the strength, that means this bone moves in the opposite direction, and as a target, the control. Now, when we move the control, you can see that the other bone moves in opposite direction, creating this 3D effect. The last thing I'm going to do is add a new bone to move a little bit this part. The same way I did, I'm going to group it, move the group to the same position of the control, and add a new constraint. But in this case, because I want to move a little, I'm going to add negative 20, only effect to X and use as a target the control. And the only thing we need to do is add this new bone to the mesh using shift and change the influence for these four vertex to the new bone.
and that's it. Now we have this 3D effect using a simple maze and a rig with three bonds.